As radical Sunni militants snatch city after city in their march to Baghdad, U.S. Secretary of State John Kerry arrived in Iraq on Monday during the country's tensest time since the U.S. withdrawal of troops. He'll meet with Prime Minister Nouri al-Maliki, the man some say needs to step down. With al-Maliki's Shiite-led government losing more ground to militants from the Islamic State in Iraq and Syria, ISIS, Kerry has implored the leader to rise above sectarian motivations to become more inclusive and more representative of its population. Kerry will also meet with Iraq's foreign minister as well as both Shiite and Sunni leaders. His trip will emphasize our highest level commitment to Iraq during this time of crisis, a State Department official said. Kerry will also speak with key leaders about forming a new government in line with the constitutional timeline that they're on. But outside the rooms of high-level talks, parts of Iraq are falling by the day. Here's the latest on the crisis that is spilling far beyond Iraq's borders, dozens of prisoners, several police officers killed at least 71 prisoners and five police officers were killed Monday when militants attacked an Iraqi police convoy transferring inmates from one prison to another, police said. Five militants were also killed. It was not immediately clear whether ISIS was behind the attack. The convoy was headed from Hilla, a predominantly Shiite city south of Baghdad, to another prison north of the city. Police did not provide further details about the attack. ISIS captures even more ground ISIS militants continued their violent march toward Baghdad over the weekend from both the north and the west. At least 70% of Anbar province is now under the control of ISIS two security officials in the region told CNN. ISIS is on a mission to create an Islamic state across Sunni areas of Iraq and in Syria. They've taken over not just the Talifar airbase in northern Iraq, but also the entire town of Talifar, officials said. The fighters also seized the western Anbar town of Rabba, 113 kilometers, 70 miles, from the borders of Jordan and Saudi Arabia. Security sources in Baghdad and Danbar told CNN on Sunday. Then theirs came. After ISIS captured the city along the Syrian border on Saturday, the militants now enjoy a stronghold and a number of other towns in Anbar province. And that means fighters now have a direct line to the western outskirts of Baghdad. Sharia law spreads one of ISIS's biggest victories came when it took over Mosul, Iraq's second largest city, earlier this month. On Sunday, witnesses said militants took the capture one step further when ISIS members paraded around the city in vehicles, announcing on loudspeakers that it has decided to form Islamic Sharia courts in Mosul. Sharia law covers both religious and non-religious aspects of life, and ISIS has begun imposing Sharia law in the towns it controls. Boys and girls must be separated at school. Women must wear the nightcap or full veil in public. Music is banned and fasting is enforced during Ramadan.